On the streets, we hear how police and politicians are not as connected as they should be with the communities they purport to serve. Since this pandemic, we've been doing two funerals a week. Pastor Nick Burnett, West End. Got to talk to a mother, got to talk to a sister, got to talk to a child that's in pain. He says pain permeates certain neighborhoods where shootings and homicides fuel this summer surge in street violence and raise a deeply felt uncomfortable question. Do the city officials really care about what's going on in our society? City leaders have now identified a million dollars, most of which will pay for bike and foot patrol overtime, higher visibility in hotspot areas like Grant Park. It's been done before, Police acknowledge it as a short-term response. The long-term answer is investment in changing the social conditions of our city. That's the long-term answer. But right now, we have to stop the bleeding. Another pattern emerges involving the U.S. attorney to rid the streets of felons who have weapons. I'm a felon myself, and I know that it's illegal for me to carry a gun. Maurice Wagner heads the community council in Over the Rhine. He looks around these streets that he knows well and emphasizes the good folks living here need to play a greater role. There's not enough good people speaking up about what's going on. These murders that's going on and these shootings around our city. I continue to say I want the input, I want the involvement of the community at large. And to that end, 200,000 of that million will pay for several community safety organizers, as they're being called. The chief says that will take some time, but he wants to identify the right people to partner with officers in the area and in key areas, the most troubled areas, like this one behind me and the streets around it. Live at Grant Park and over the Rhine, John London, WLWT News 5. Yeah,